Hi friends, I am doing something I've never done before. I am sending you a video message and first just saying thank you for your faithful consistency in giving to Mercy House Global, supporting everything that we do, um, being there for us when floors fail and homes burn. Um, it has definitely been a trying few years as we move uh, deeper into 2022, we are preparing for our biggest global giving day of the year, and that is She is Priceless. It's always the uh, Tuesday after Mother's Day, so it'll be May 10th this year. And um, we began doing this seven years ago as a way to really pause in the busyness and remember that every woman everywhere is precious and she deserves the chance to be remembered. And so we concentrate our efforts to raise money for rescues of pregnant teens in Kenya. We have had six babies born since January, so 67 babies to date, um, born um, to teen moms who have been rescued out of some form of trafficking in Kenya. It's our flagship ministry. It's where our heart is and will, may, will remain. As we move into this um, year, we've really felt a call to respond to vulnerable people in a deeper way, um, and that is through uh, the continued support of widows um, as artisans and widows as staff in Kenya, um, really stepping into providing for them even after um, they leave our employment, as we um, did this past year. And then with refugees, um, we really believe that God has called us to focus on these three vulnerable groups of people, orphans, um, which 80% um, of our teen moms in Kenya are orphan. We're preventing those babies from becoming orphans, um, widows, and then refugees, or as the Bible refers to them as sojourners. Um, we have been working with refugees for years and we are really stepping in deeper into that refugee ministry um, through a lot of local initiatives. Um, providing jobs for them, providing English as a second language, um, becoming friends, meeting their needs. We've been doing this for seven years, um, going on eight years, and we have no intentions um, to stop. But as you guys know, it has been a really challenging year. Um, our current challenges um, include, aren't limited to um, an endless supply chain interruptions, um, economic downturn, recovery of COVID-19, our maternity home that burned um, to the ground in 2021. We're still trying to recover from that and replace that um, home that cost over half a million dollars um, to replace. And then more recently, we are dealing with the failure of our warehouse locally here in Magnolia. Um, that was unexpected. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but it has been wave after wave of setbacks. And I wanted to show up in your inbox today on your social media feed. And first, thank you for partnering with us. And second, to appeal to you to become a part of this story or to become a deeper part of this story. We have big dreams. We have incredible plans, things that we know God is asking us to do. And, you know, um, I've gone through different seasons as the founder of Mercy House struggling with different things um, from burnout to just feeling inadequate, being overwhelmed. And I really, this year, God is, um, after coming out of 2020 like you guys, and then 2021 didn't quite shape up the way we thought it would, uh, moving into 2022, I really have felt like God is just reminding me um, that every day He gives us what we need. And I tend to worry about tomorrow an awful lot. And he keeps taking me back to scripture in Exodus where the Israelites were wandering through the wilderness. They were asking God to make a way um, to lead them to the promised land. And he was giving them what they needed. And he was giving that to them day by day. And um, he did that in the form of manna during the day. And um, I think... It, it's so clear in scripture how he didn't want them to save it for the next day. He even said that in the word of God that it would spoil um, if they saved it and stored it up. And 
God's been just really showing me that he's going to provide what we need tomorrow when tomorrow gets here. But there is enough for today. And there's enough for today because of your faithfulness, because you've joined clubs, you've given sacrificially. I think um, last year we had around 700 people give to She is Priceless. And that's incredible. Um, we need all 700 to give again and to give a little, to dig a little bit deeper because our needs are greater. I think we're about $150,000 behind where we were this time last year, um, just with um, the economy and, and being behind in some areas. And so I know that God is telling me to trust him for tomorrow. Don't worry about it. He's going to take care of it. And he has given us what we need today. And so um, I'm doing my job and I know that he has something for you to do in this story too. And so I want to formally invite you to draw a heart on your hand on uh, Tuesday, May 